Hey everyone, welcome to this session where we'll target our lateral line of our legs, so that IT band region, and also our hamstrings, so the back of our legs, and a little bit our outer hips. So we're gonna do most of this practice on our back, which might be nice and relaxing if you've had a big hard day or been on your legs a lot. And the only prop I'm gonna ask you to get for today is a strap. So if you have a yoga strap, grab it. You can improvise with something at home, like a belt or a towel or something like that. So meet me on your back and we'll start there. Have that strap, whatever you've got there within reach and begin by tuning into your breath if that feels safe for you. So you're welcome to close your eyes and put one hand on your chest, one hand on your abdomen. And if you've been doing these practices with me, coming back to that foundational piece of breath. Taking a moment to check in, letting your body weight slowly settle into the ground. And if it works for you, seeing if you can bring a little more movement into your bottom hand. So when you breathe in, feeling a swelling of your abdomen. Maybe at the top of your breath, you feel a little movement in your top hand. And then emptying out of your top hand and out of your bottom hand. Try saying this, this is my body. This is my home. Okay, as you're ready, let's start with our right leg. So we're gonna take our right leg into our chest. You can hug behind your hamstring or on top of your knee and draw it in. And see how it feels to stretch out your left leg all the way towards straight, maybe keeping your left toes and left knee pointing up towards the ceiling. Squishing your right knee in towards your abdomen and towards your armpit on the right side. And then we'll start to take that right leg up into the air. And this is where you can grab a hold of what you've got for a strap. Hook that around the arch of your right foot. And what I often do here is wrap my hands around the strap, like a little kind of boxer tape wrap, and pull on that so I'm not gripping so hard through my hands. And then you're welcome to bend your right leg and then kick it towards straight, like gas pedal out towards straight. You don't have to get straight, obviously, but go for straight. And then bend and kick it towards straight. Maybe you get a little spread through your toes there. Even that stubborn little pinky toe. Stretch out. And you're welcome to pull your toes towards your right shin and reach your heel up. That might give you a bit more sensation in the back of your calf. All right, so this classical hamstring stretch. Let's stay here for a number of breaths. And your leg might be a little further away from you. You can also have a little bend in your knee. And like we've been talking about in these practices, slowly waiting until your body might invite you to stretch out a little more. Sometimes it takes time. And if it's a lot of sensation, you might notice your neck and shoulders are kind of starting to grip. You can explore letting your shoulders relax, letting your head and neck relax any amount. One more breath in here. Breath out. Okay, so I'm gonna invite you to take both edges of your strap in your right hand. So you can walk your right hand up your leg there. And then start to take this right leg out to the side, okay? So you can start to take it out to the side, maybe until your right elbow hits the ground. And if you want, with your left hand, you can place that on top of your left hip because your left hip might wanna come off of the ground. So you can put a little attention into grounding it, grounding your left backside muscle 
If it doesn't work to hold onto the strap, you can let the strap go, make a little kickstand support with your right elbow, and hold onto your leg wherever you get. So let's take a couple breaths into this. Some of you might stretch that leg all the way to the ground. You can explore that while keeping your left hip grounded. If you want, you can look over your left shoulder and think about turning your belly button away from your right leg. So if you're fighting with your body a little bit here, see if you can come back to following those just right amount of stretch sensations, those pleasure sensations in the stretch. Doesn't have to be anything. Okay, we're gonna bring that leg all the way back to center. So you can grab onto your strap for that. And now we're gonna flip onto our outer left hip switch our strap into our left hand and start to come across. So this is where you might start to feel that outer hip IT band, the lateral line of your leg. Okay, so you're gonna do a little hip flip so that you're, you come onto your left side. So if it's a lot of sensation here, it's too much, bend your knees, kickstand your left elbow into the ground and hold on to your right leg like that. And you can take your right arm out to the side. Some of you might feel like taking that top right leg all the way to the floor and maybe straightening and kicking out through both legs. Wherever you get, you can take a few breaths there. To increase sensation of stretch in your outer hip, you can explore taking that top right hip down, away, wow, <laughs> towards the base of the mat. And that might give you your lower back a bit more length and a bit more sensation of stretch on that outer hip. One more option for some of you, if you like, you can lift your head up Bend your bottom left leg and catch a hold of your foot with your right hand and pull your bottom knee more in line with your torso and come back down. One more breath here. If you're holding your bottom leg, you can let it go. Let your strap go. Turn yourself all the way back onto your pelvis. Bend your right leg and let's draw both knees in towards our chest. You can cross your ankles here, hug in, hold onto your knees and circle through the back of your pelvis. I like to imagine the back of my pelvis is like a big bowl and I'm making contact with the whole bottom of the bowl. And you can go one direction and then the other. Kind of like a massage for the back of your pelvis. <sighs> okay, let's try the other side. So we'll start with our feet planted and our left knee coming in towards our chest. So into the chest or into the armpit, squishing that leg in. You can see how it feels to straighten out your right leg. And again, I'm going to put a little attention to keeping my knee and big toe pointing up towards the ceiling. And then we'll start to bring that left leg towards straight. And this is the part where you can grab your prop hook around the arch of your uh, left foot and maybe get that little wrap with your hands. You do that little boxer tape wrap and bend your top leg and kick it out towards straight. 
an operative word there being towards. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be straight. You can move in that direction. And your leg can be a little away from you. Yeah, or a little more towards you. You can stay with the movement if it's soothing for you or stay with the sensation of stretch. In stillness for a number of breaths. Maybe spread your toes. Sometimes I thank my feet for everything that they do when I'm looking straight at them like this. Okay, we're gonna take this leg out to the side. So I'm gonna invite you to take your strap in just your left hand and maybe take your right hand on your right hip to ground your right seat and start to take this leg out to the side. So it could be a little until you get your elbow to the ground. Could be a little more, stretching out as much as feels okay for you. Again, you could let go of the strap if you like and take your hand to the outside of your leg wherever you get with your elbow down and hold it there. Maybe look over your right shoulder and turn your belly button opposite of your left leg, so kind of turning through your abdomen. And I'm looking over my right shoulder to create that heaviness on my right side. Okay, let's start to bring our left leg all the way up. And we're gonna switch our hand so our right hand comes on the strap and we're turning all the way, that little hip flips, so you turn all the way over onto your outer right hip and the outside of your right foot. Then you can come across any amount you like with that top left leg. So maybe your right elbow comes to the ground and you stay there or you can let the strap go and create that little kickstand with your elbow holding onto your leg. You could take the foot all the way down to the floor. And it's this movement that's really going to get into your outer hip lateral line of your hip here is to encourage the top hip to move away. You can sometimes even do that with your own hand. And you might get a little more length there out of the left side of your lower back. You can outstretch your arm and look over your left shoulder. Sometimes I like to remind myself that I don't need to punish myself with the yoga stretches. <laughs> so going to that place where I can feel those pleasure sensations still, breathe into the stretches, and the residue might be a little sweeter if I do that. If you like, you can add in that curling up movement, bend your bottom right leg, maybe catch your foot, and then move your bottom knee. It's probably going to need to go a little bit behind you there so that it's a little more in line with um, your torso. So wherever you're at, let's take a couple more breaths. Even in stillness, there's dynamic movement with the movement of your breath. So maybe you can tune into that. Mm -hmm. 
If you have your bottom leg, you can let it go. Let the strap go. Turn yourself all the way back onto your back. Take your knees in, cross your ankles, hold on to your knees and circle around on the bowl of the back of your pelvis. One way and then the other. Okay, let's do a crisscross of our knees. So we'll crisscross our right leg on top of our left and then reach for your knees, um, opposite knees. So left hand on right knee, right hand on left knee, and then draw your knees in towards you. If it's hard to reach your knees, you can take your strap and loop it around your knees as well. So draw that in and feel free to make those little rocking movements. If you like, you can walk your hands down your shins or maybe towards your ankles. And some of you might even grab a hold of the outside edges of both of your feet and lift your shins more up so that your shins are lined up with each other and your feet flex. Wherever you're at there, draw your knees in. Let's take a couple of breaths. If you're really curling your pelvis up here, you can explore pressing your pelvis down so that you're a little less rounded in your low back. So if by chance you're holding your left foot with your right hand, Come across and take your right knee, outer knee, with your left hand. And then start to take your bottom left knee here towards your the bottom of your mat. And pull your right leg across. So we're kind of coming into that same twist that we were just in from a different entry point. If you like, you can go ahead and go grab your outer left foot and kick that leg out. Exploring that twist, maybe looking over your right shoulder for a breath. And we'll come all the way back to center. You can let go your legs, unwind, hold on to opposite knees there and circle through the bowl at the back of your pelvis. Last shape here for us today we'll take our left knee on top of our right hold opposite knees and either draw your knees in or work down your shins or your ankles or your outer feet and draw in if you're feeling a big pelvic curl explore how it feels to press your pelvis more down to the ground and lengthen out through your low back. Sometimes our low back wants to compensate for uh, what our hips don't want to do. So this is a way to kind of take the low back out of it by pressing the pelvis down and encouraging a little more length in your outer hips. are welcome there and if you'd like to come into that twist from the slightly different variation if you're holding on to your right foot left hand or right hand on the left knee I know it's a little confusing <laughs> and you can reach that right knee down and away from you towards the bottom of your mat that might might be enough there or you can pull your left knee across into that twist Some of you might work your hand to the outside of your foot and kick that top leg towards straight. Wherever you get breath in, 
breath out. Letting all of that go, coming back to the middle. Cross ankles, take a hold of knees, circle. And the last thing I'll invite you to do before our final relaxation is a rocking of your pelvis. So it feels okay for you, if it feels okay for you. Plant your feet and it's a heel rock. So it's kind of like if you were to um, rock your heel like this, but your heels are planted on the ground. So it's a heel rock and your pelvis ends up doing a little kind of shimmy up and down. <laughs> Might feel a little bit silly. But you can do that for a couple of breaths, rock your heels, and it, it can just loosen up around your hips and your low back. So maybe you do this for five, four, three. You might even feel your head and neck kind of bobbing up and down from it. Two, one, and then stop and notice the effects of that. I feel like a, quite a warm rush of relaxation through my hips. Okay, so maybe your hands stay on your body for your final resting shape, or you can take them a little away. You're welcome to outstretch your legs. I'm going to choose to do that today. Outstretch your legs and let your, the pinky toe side of your feet fall open. Let the thumb side of your hands maybe fall open. And you're welcome to close your eyes and attempt to become the most relaxed version of yourself. <laughs> Maybe take a big breath in and exhale out of your mouth. Sensing into your outer legs, your hips, your low back. Maybe by working in your lower body like this, you also notice a relaxation around your neck, shoulders, and jaw. So when we work on one part of the body, all other parts are affected. To close our practice today, try this out. You can say, this is my body. This is my home. I'm going to invite you to stay here for as long as you have time for, as long as you like. Thank you so much for sharing in this session with me today. May you have peace.